Delta, Beta, Alpha, and Eta are all concerning variants found in SA, with the Delta variant dominating. Viruses mutate all the time, including the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus that caused the COVID-19 pandemic. During replication, genetic changes happen within the virus and create what are called variants. Some of these mutations weaken the virus, while others may make it stronger and more transmissible. So what do we need to know about the variants in SA? Within South Africa, we've detected the beta variant, the alpha variant, most recently the delta variant, but we've also detected the eta variant. In South Africa, the cause of concern is definitely the delta variant at the present time. Um, it does seem to be replacing all other variants because it's so much more transmissible. And certainly within the globe, that's what we are seeing. There's a mutation in what's called the furin cleavage site in the Delta variant that basically makes that region much more adapted to human cells, to replicating in human cells. And that is why it is becoming more transmissible. It replicates more efficiently, so it infects more efficiently because you've got higher viral loads, for example. And yeah, that's, that's really in large part what's contributing to this increased transmissibility. What is different is that infection with this variant does result in hospitalization more frequently. So there's been one study that's been done thus far in the UK. And from that study, definitely it looks like it causes, it results in hospitalization more frequently. So far, studies have been carried out um, looking at the Pfizer, the AstraZeneca and the Johnson & Johnson vaccines. And they all perform pretty comparably to this variant compared to what was previously circulating. To be honest with you, I think that in future, we're gonna continue to see multiple waves coming in. But the difference will be that when we have herd immunity and when we have most of our population vaccinated or previously infected, we're not going to see the same number of hospitalizations as we're seeing currently.